What's going on? How y'all feeling this evening? I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Yes, with another video on her. Okay, her. Now, I was looking at this little uh, EP cover or whatnot, and I seen this black silhouette with a blue gradient background, and I'm just like, who is this? But I really like this girl, okay? She's kind of new. Well, she is new. I've never even heard of her before. Her, speaking of. I love her music, okay? Let's just let's just keep it 100, okay? Like, this girl kind of got a little Alicia Keys. She kind of sounds like Alicia Keys. And then she got a little Marsha Ambrosius and uh, kind of a little Jill Scott with her music. She kind of gives me a little a little tiny bit of Dawn Richard. You know, she just, she just kind of gets the whole package a little bit. And she's R&B and soul. And I was listening to this seven track. EP, which I really, really love, is entitled Her Volume 1. If you guys want to know how to spell it, it's H period E period R period Volume 1. Okay, you can probably look it up on Google. I'm sure. I don't know if they'll have it on iTunes. They probably might. I don't know, but this girl is very, very new in my eyesight. So, I, was, I gave her... Um, EP a listen and I like every song okay it's 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 a 10 out of 10 in my opinion guys uh every, every song starting with number one track number one which is called losing okay she basically feels like she, the release the relationship that she's in she's losing um I really really like the beat it, it comes on very 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 nice it's just a nice R&B soul feel and she just sounds so good she's kind of giving me a little Alicia Keys mixed with Marsha Ambrosia on this song at the same time I don't know why but she kind of gives me this modern day Alicia Keys kind of uh, uh but whoever this girl is with this black silhouette okay uh, uh cover uh she she's amazing okay number one was losing and i just was just i just thought that that was just an amazing song number two wait for it was was just it kind of sounded like say yes from flow tree you know when it came on it was kind of giving me uh all you gotta do is say yes kind of was giving me flow tree a little bit even e either either she probably sampled the beat or, or something like that, but she just had an amazing, uh, uh, amazing voice. Her voice sounded so fluently, and it's just so brilliant on the song. It, I, it just, I was just like, wow, okay, who is this girl? Then we got number three, Facts. Now, this, I definitely messes with this song because the guy that she's talking about on the song is, is she's been through thick and thin with this guy, and these are facts. Basically, is what she's saying on the song. Uh, uh, you know, um... She's putting it all on the table. She's in in love with this guy, whoever this guy is, whoever this girl is, singing the hell out these damn songs, okay? Get into it. I, I definitely really like number three. I thought that that was probably one of my favorites on this song. You. Now, she just, number four, you. She just can't stop thinking about this guy, okay? He's been on her mind all night and day or something like that, and she's basically just calling him over for a, a good, a, a good, you know, a good, a good little kiki or whatnot, and uh, they getting into their thing basically on the song, and it just sounds beautiful. It just got this nice R and B, uh, um, a neo soul type feel to it that I definitely, definitely, definitely really like. Uh, then after that, we got Focus Number Five, which is one of my favorites. The beat kind of, it kind of hits you in deep places. Uh, I really like the slow moving. Uh, it's kind of like bumping and grinding type music. Uh, it's just very, very sexy. I really, really liked it. I just was listening to it. I was like, okay, this girl is in it to win it. When they got to number five, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm in love. I'm all in. I'm all ears. Number six, Jungle, which was what she um, basically sung over Drake's Jungle track from uh, If You're Reading This, It's Too Late. Um, I thought it was an okay song. I ain't going to say it was my favorite, but it's basically Drake song you know i don't know if she asked them to use it or i don't know but that's basically what that was pigment number seven was just basically an in outro for this uh it kind of had a jazzy flavor uh to it it was the last song that's called pigment and she was just doing kind of she kind of had a little jazzy 
uh, flavor with with the end of the uh, EP, guys. I'm waiting for some more music from this girl. I don't know who the hell she is. She just came out of nowhere. I just looked up and seen her. And then I'm like, okay, this girl in a fucking black silhouette. Mm. But I fucking love her music, though. Okay, uh, I would like to know how she looks and if she's going to come out with more music because I'm sure no one has ever heard of her. So she's definitely new on my eyesight. She's very unknown. Okay, who the hell is she? But her voice sounds very, 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 very familiar. Okay, she kind of has this Alicia Keys flavor, as I said, this Alicia Keys Marsha Ambrosia uh, thing going on. It's Neo Soul. So whoever she's in, whoever she is, she's in the tune, and I'm definitely here for it. She's doing, she's going, she's going to probably be big. Um, from the looks of it, you know, if 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 you listen to these songs, you're gonna really get into this sexiness, this very a uh, warming and welcoming voice that she has, and just she's just in it to win it. Uh, I love it. I love it. I I even love how unknown and unorthodox the cover is because she's very very um she makes you wonder who the hell she is basically uh what i get from this um this cover this little ep cover but anyway check it out guys this is forever brandon tv i hope you guys uh like it i might put a link in the description for you to listen to it for free you can listen to it for free i'm not sure if it's on itunes but make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh just put your comments below the bottom and tell me what you think about it if you've heard it if you know who she is if anybody out there know who the hell this girl is give her a shout out from forever brandon because she's amazing and i've never heard of her so speaking of her I'm going to listen to her again. Deuces.